The release of Astra will probably be looked at as the moment when Valorant truly separated itself from the Counter-Strike comparison. And in this video, we are going to take a look at some of the Galaxy Brain plays that are possible using her utility kit. Her ability to drastically change the landscape of the battlefield anywhere on the map is astronomically powerful. In her first round of professional tournaments since release, Astra seems to have already overtaken all other controller classified agents other than Omen. Astra is an agent that rewards creative thinking and how to combo utility, and I was super impressed with how Korean team F4Q used her to beat Vision Strikers during the VCT. At a most basic level, Astra can force players into disadvantaged situations like in this clip. We see Zunba set up three quick stars right as the round starts, one for heaven, one for screens, and one for maps. As Bunny goes to blast pack in, Zumba pops the heaven and screen smokes and uses a gravity well behind maps. This covers the A push in A main and forces anyone playing behind maps to either tank the vulnerable status or expose themselves to the push and allows for a super easy take on the site. On the defensive side of things, even the threat of Astra's utility can force rushed attacks and heavy utility usage just to break onto the site. Even though Zumba dies here on B site, his smoke and the gravity wall combo cuts the Vision Striker's push in half and slows down everyone but the jet, making it a costly entry. This gives the remaining F4Q players enough time to rotate in and clean up the round. But this is all fairly basic Astra stuff so far, so let's get a bit more complex. In this round, F4Q wants shower control. Knowing that Vision Strikers will contest the orb, Bunny immediately double satchels into showers while Zumba drops two stars just around the corner and immediately turns one of them into a gravity well. At the same time, God Dead lands a recon dart to check around the corner and the Cypher has no choice but to shoot it. This confirms to Bunny that there's a player stuck in the gravity well and he hops around the corner to land a judge shot to the face. Easy shower and orb control. They even have a second star to smoke with if F4Q needs to retreat or stall out counter pressure from the defense. This next play is a super cool two round setup by F4Q. Having lost the pistol round to start the half, F4Q force buys and sends Bunny into U-Haul with a double satchel judge play, which completely catches Omen off guard. They win the round easily with this early U-Haul control, and in the next round, F4Q presents the exact same pressure, and this time Omen falls back, expecting the flying raise play again. Instead, Zunba has placed a gravity well behind Omen to catch the retreat, and this time Bunny goes up and over the U-Haul truck to the back side to once again start the round with a huge pickoff. One extra part of this play is the way that Zunba throws a star up near the U-Haul truck and recalls it as Bunny flies in to give him a one second smoke for a little bit of extra cover. I noticed Zumba using the recall a lot to create opportunities for sort of swoop peak plays with the one second smoke or cross small distances that don't need a full duration of cover to navigate. There just seem to be so many layers to what is possible with Astra and F4Q showcased some insane levels of that in this 4v5 execute on Haven C. Play begins with Zumba placing and recalling a star in the sea long cubby. This one second of smoke gives Bunny just enough time to run up and into the cubby behind it. He then double satchels onto the site while Zumba smokes garage and the defender spawn and also gravity wells one side of the middle boxes and Nova pulses the other. At the exact same time, God Dead's recon dart lands to check the back of the site and he unleashes Hunter's Fury to clear out behind the middle boxes. This completely clears the site for Bunny and allows him to drop off his Boombot to bounce behind the boxes and add yet another layer to the chaos and control of the back site. This Boombot proves to be exceptionally lucky as well as RB walks directly into it while scoped into the operator and never sees it coming. As the utility barrage ends, Bunny swings out from behind the boxes to find two more players pushing through the spawn smoke and F4Q is able to plant the spike with seconds left in the round. Before I end the video, I wanted to show off the potential of Cosmic Divide. This is definitely proving to be one of the hardest ultimates in the game to use well, so I really liked how Zumba used it here to secure the round. Vision Strikers plants the spike in a 2 against 2, and both F4Q players are rotating from B to A. First, Zumba forces the breach out from cover behind maps, using Gravity Well to give God Dead an easy kill. Then, as God Dead sticks to the defuse, Zumba throws up the Cosmic Divide to block off the entire site from Heaven and Main. He then stands just a little bit to the left of the spike, knowing that Zest 
the remaining attacker has to rush the spike to stop the defuse. This means that even though Zest does kill God Dead, he immediately gets traded, and it ends up not mattering anyway as the spike finishes defusing. I honestly don't see a world in which Astra doesn't get at least one or two rounds of nerfs very soon, but in the meantime, feel free to abuse some of these techniques for your own benefit. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and if you enjoy this video and want to support me to make more content, please consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you next time.